Yeah, so you know, mobile operators have a wealth of information. Um, if you kind of look back, right, they they have user data about historical usage, what they what the user has done, the kind of apps they have, the kind of phones they use, what they prefer, the network that they reach out to. Um, second, they also have access to a lot of behavior data in terms of location, their frequent locations that they visit, where they go, etc. Right? Um, you take a lot of this information and then um, try to figure out what kind of additional value you can provide to the user. So there are some mobile operators uh, like, for example, Singtel, um, which acquired Amobi very recently, which is all around mobile advertising. So uh, they are trying to figure that out. Uh, the opportunity for all of them is uh, if they want to open up new revenue streams uh, ahead of just you know subscription and other ad additional value-added services that they can offer, the opportunity lies for them in terms of how they can partner and leverage the data that they have about the user and uh, you know figure out as part of the broader ecosystem whether it is freemium paid or ad supported kind of models that uh, they can leverage to unlock new revenue streams that becomes a very interesting value proposition We are one of InMobi's the largest independent mobile ad network. Uh, we specialize in um, display advertising on mobile devices, which is smartphones and tablets. Um, and what you are seeing there is the data consumption is exploding, whether it is Mary Meeker slides, whether it is Ericsson reports, Cisco Visual Networking Index, the data usage is just going nuts. Um, we do our own studies and we are looking now that in terms of media consumption, the smartphones, um, actually people are consuming more media on smartphones and tablets than TV, right? So the whole world in which how people, whether it is looking at videos, how they're interacting is moving to the point of where um, the primary media consumption device is becoming your smartphone or tablet. So, um, that trend is very, very interesting. Um, so if you look at, again, from an operator's perspective, um, they are providing the connection for these smartphones and mobile devices. Uh, they have a relationship with the customer um, and they have an opportunity to go back to them on every billing cycle, uh, which means their brand is very, very well known to the consumer. So um, they have a ton of data about that particular user. Uh, they have a lot of context around information, things like location, preferences. Um, they have data about the kind of apps um, that the user is, has downloaded, used, or they can, you know, they can figure out a way to do that. Um, so that is where you know, uh, they can um, unlock economic value. Mobile operators have, uh, have a huge opportunity to unlock value uh, in terms of the historic data and the user data that they have, um, you know, that they have gathered over multiple years of relationship with them, right? So um, mobile analytics will play a very key role for them to unlock that value because once they, they have that data, but what do they do with it? How do they slice and dice it to um, to make, you know, to get meaning out of that data is going and convert into information becomes even more insightful, right? So once you, you know, data is one thing, but information that is actionable is what people value more. So uh, mobile analytics plays a key role in um, helping operators unlock the value. And once they are able to uh, categorize that into, you know, here are some interesting aspects. They can figure out a way to partner, whether it is through mobile advertising or other opportunities to create new revenue streams.
are a number of applications that you can see, right? So for example, Flipboard, or you look at some other applications that users are, have started to adopt in a much more significant way. Um, the key for them is, and what even we as in Mobi, uh, we strive for is um, when you deliver ads to the user, they have to be very relevant. They have to be at the point of time where it is targeted for me. So if I'm in the market for a new car, I want to see I'm okay, you know, accepting or seeing an ad for a new car. But if I'm not, I just bought a car a month ago and somebody is still pitching me those ads, I will tune out, right? So understanding that user behavior, user context, and delivering the best targeted message is what the subscriber values. And the more the, the ad format is integrated as part of the overall content experience, the more seamless it is. And uh, companies like, you know, our applications like Flipboard have done a great job of it um, because you are seeing certain content at the same, and at, at certain intervals, you will see very um, interesting ads which appear exactly like content. Right, so um, so if you think of mobile analytics in relation to that, is like once you have a lot more better insight about the user, where where that user is located, the context around how they are thinking about a particular action, and if you are able to deliver a targeted message, that is value that you are bringing to the subscriber, and brands and um, whether it is auto companies, whether it is retail companies, they value. Uh, delivering that targeted message much higher than just exposing, uh, you know, a message or an impression uh, which is not relevant, right? So uh, understanding that particular user aspect and delivering very targeted set of messages uh, become very extremely interesting. And uh, operators are again in a very interesting spot because they have all this data. Um, they have just not figured out a way to unlock that data. The value for the user is always about delivering the most relevant message at that point of time. So um, the more, the better the understanding you have about the user, the context, the location, the, the behavior, the kind of things that they, you can anticipate, the better your message can be targeted. So example might mean, you know, we have the AT&T ballpark uh, right here. So during a football game, um, um, you want to, you know, brands like Red Bull want to target those particular users because they are precisely the kind of audience they believe um, they can sell, uh, you know, they, they want to target. So um, with mobile technologies you can do is you can understand because the location everybody has a smartphone or a tablet uh, you can really zone in on that particular segment of your audience and at the most appropriate time deliver a very targeted message so uh, that power um, is pretty phenomenal and the more understanding you have about the user um, the better it is and uh, operators uh, you know just because they have that information um, are very well uh, placed in this kind of an ecosystem